Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 3. Here we are in a swamp that you're familiar with by now. Yes, we're back here at the witch farm. And you can see that I have pulled down the dirt hut around it. Not because I was thinking it was a spoiler, but because we are getting close to being able to build the building around this that I have in mind. And so let's just take a look at the overall progress on the perimeter thus far. So here we go. Uh, we've got in what, quadrant three done over there. So uh, let's see if we can get over to that point and hopefully without falling. Feather falling four is good. I don't know how good it is though. We'll come over here just to give you an idea. Hopefully you aren't afraid of heights, but there we go. Yep, we're down to bedrock and uh, let's see, Optifine zoom and also an overviewer map show us. Yep, there we go. One block, I'm going to get that later, but not right now. Nope, we've got other things to do today. I did want to show you that quadrant three is done. Quadrant 4 is currently in progress. Run Wild happened to stop by and do a little digging as well. But we're going to get this one done. Then we'll move the beacon probably to that corner. But then that means we can start working on the building for this thing. And I am i don't know. We'll see how it comes together. No promises right now. I'm not going to tell you what I've got in mind for it. But we do have a building in mind. Um, Today, we're not going to be doing much else related to this part of the witch farm. We are doing something for the shop that we put together last time. But before we get into that, Kondrick has informed me that he left something for me in the furnaces here at the witch farm. So let's just take a look. Nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh. Ooh, that, that doesn't look like you can smelt that. So let's see. Ooh. Elytra Mending Unbreaking 3. Very, very good. So we are going to have to play around with that. Um, so that means we probably need a Punch 2 bow. And preferably one without the rest of the stuff on it. But we might, might want to give this a try. I'm kind of hesitant because I've never done this before. I do have that thing up there. But I've now dug a rather large hole, so if I happen to fail, and fail miserably, then, uh, yeah, it could be the death of me. And I don't know where my spawn point is currently. So let's see about coming over here and showing you some additional progress on the perimeter. So the perimeter is going to be full 128 blocks in each direction. You can see the far section of it right there with the stone brick and I'm slowly but surely moving these sand walls out and uh, bringing in sponge and going from there but we've got a high point here so maybe we can get up to this high point and then jump off and we'll see what that does so you're supposed to jump and then hit um, I don't know if that did it uh, let's see. Let's try that again. Come on. Okay. It's it's doing some crazy stuff now that I'm jumping. Yeah. So so yeah, it is it is working. It seems to be working. Let's come up here. We'll go into F5 mode. Let's see. Is it just one? Uh, one tap. Yeah, maybe it's just one tap. So anyway, I'll have to practice some with that at a later point. And let's get out of F5 mode and put my chest plate back on. And then what we're going to do is put the elytra into my ender chest. And we're going to head over to spawn because we need to drum up some business for the witch farm shop. And so I've got some dyes here. I've got some sticks and ink sacks. We need to get some purple dye and probably need to get some signs. So let's head back to spawn. And I know I can get some poppies there. Uh, you know, just a little poppy farm that we've got at spawn. So let me go grab that. 
and get the rest of the supplies together and we'll get some advertisements going for the witch farm shop. Well, here we are at spawn. It has been quite some time since I've been here. What's going on here? Jan for beam partner. Yes, we're, we're going to get Jan to beam partnership here at some point. So uh, if you have not checked out the other hyperminers, Go check them out on the Hypermind subreddit. But what we're going to do right now is grab some poppies. Uh, that should be good enough. We just need a little bit of purple, but, you know, plenty of poppies to go around. And we probably need some shears. And we'll head over to Port Hypermine for the rest of this particular project. So I will meet you over there. It's also been quite some time since I've been at Port Hypermine, so let's see what's changed around here. Okay, so we've got some buildings going in here. Oh, okay, we've got a trap zombie right there. I don't know whose that is. It's from the early days of the map, and whoever trapped it has not returned. Still got the torch prank above Brahemix windmill. Anything else? Not, well, let's see. Basket's Iron Bank, okay. So Basket is going to do something with transporting iron blocks from spawn to over here. Uh, for now, we're just manually moving them over. And let me go in here. I need to actually get some of this free iron. Is there any up here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's all I need. I did have some. I probably should have just grabbed some of those from the iron farm but uh, oh well you know I'm not always thinking on my feet like I should and we've got a bunch of pink sheep and we don't want pink sheep we need white wool for our project and I'd be wondering what in the world's going on here well I intend on making some banners so in case you haven't uh, haven't figured that out and I don't know how you would have maybe if you're really astute and have kind of two and two together but anyway we got some white wool there probably need to dye these also there is an ongoing sheep war going on on the server so they keep changing color to blue and lime green uh, between blue and lime green and pink, so I don't know who all's in charge of all of them. I have an idea about the blue side. That'd be Lapis Lori. And we got some work to do around here too, but not today, not today. Let's go up to our storage room. Villagers have been hanging out here. Yep, there we go. Hey buddy, toolsmith, efficiency two, iron shovel. No, thank you. Thankfully, they can't get to my storage room. Let's come over here. White wool aplenty. Good, good, good. Okay, so we should be able to make all of the dyes now. Do we have... There's one more I need. It is brown. I need, I need some cocoa beans, so let's go do that. And... I think there are some over at the whacked mole so we'll go over and do all of this at the whacked mole but yeah I'm gonna be making a banner and then we're gonna take this around kind of like Hector did for the guest tier shop did you know there was a guest tier shop if you didn't well you've missed an episode where I bought some gas tiers off of it let's come over here oh and I need to eat easy to forget not really in the it's just one of those annoyances that you have to do. I don't want to hit the iron golem. And we, how many do we need? We don't need too many. Okay, so we make sure we replant here. Okay. And I'd prefer it, dude, if you would go this way. Thank you. Okay, and it, it can get kind of precarious around here because we've got so many villagers running around. You don't want to be swinging just willy-nilly. you got to be careful. 
Otherwise, you'll have a face full of iron golems. See, they're all over the place. They're, they are ready to take out anyone that would damage these villagers, which is good, I guess. A little helpful. All right, so let's come in here. I did say we we're going to do this at the Whack Mole, but let's just go up to my standard crafting area. And here we go. All right, good place as any. This is home base here in Port Hypermine. What we need to do is make actually, I don't know, what, 10? Let's do, let's do 10. How about that? And then like so is that yeah there we go okay so we got one white banner and what we're gonna do is we are going to put uh, well we need to make some purple dye so let's do that so there we go and then purple dye like this to give us a purple lozenge that what is it trap no it's not trapezoid Oh, diamond shape right in the middle and then what we're gonna do is take this and put a lower light gray base fess on it these are banner terms that I'm not entirely uh, entirely in the know about and we're gonna put a little bit of brown on there brown fess or brown pale right down the middle is that right brown pale Okay, so I'm going off of a screenshot that I found online, and I'm going to put the link to this on the or in the description box below. It's going to be to Planet Minecraft. And then what we'll do, put this here, and and you'll see once it really comes together, it's not quite very easy to see right now. But let's do this. All right, you see it? You see it? Let's uh, let's put it up right here. What do you think? That's, that's a cool better design. I really like that. Um, and well, what's the best way to take these guys down? Um, well, that's one way. A little bit more, uh, more involved than I wanted. But since it is a white banner base. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got the original. You know what? So we'll store that one. Let's make another of these white banners like so we'll mix the yeah there we go all right so we'll store the original here in my house okay and then let's go put these up around town just letting people know that they can get their witch farm item drops at the witch farm shop down in or down the Venetian way and that reminds me I I put a little quiz ahead of you or on you on the last episode with the name Antonio and Antonio uh, any idea about it um, I we, we had a couple of guesses but nothing nothing really struck out or, or everybody struck out on that um, Antonio is the name of a character in the Shakespeare play Merchant of Venice right okay so it's the road to Venice and we've got a merchant selling stuff so Antonio merchant of, okay maybe I'm just a nerd okay that's that's gonna be it for now so that's why I named him Antonio he's the merchant of Venice so what we're gonna do here uh, we'll we'll just put something on on here for now I'm gonna try a few things and then we'll see what we come up with all right here we go which farm shop now open located on the road to Venice this is almost an exact copy of what Hector wrote for his shop so there we go we're gonna place this around in different spots around town yep so uh, we're going to just cover the place with advertisements and yeah, so that's the name of the game. We're looking for some commerce. Uh, yeah, so we need we need some some better place. So let me find some other places and and yeah, we'll go from there.
All right, I figured we'd put one in the whacked mole instead of right outside the whacked mole. Simply, we don't have a lot of room. And what we're going to do is make it day, and then we'll find another spot. If you're wondering what this block is right here, again, I'm using the B00 texture pack, and that is nether brick. So that's what he is textured at. So uh, because of that, I probably will not be using nether brick in this unless I can revert back to the original texture. It would be nice if we had one, but or had the regular texture or had had one that was truly black in the original vanilla colors, but we don't. We don't. Okay, so we probably should put one of these in basket station since that's going to be where people come in and then maybe one in town hall so got a few other places and then we'll certainly put one at spawn so let me go take care of that and i'll be back once we've got all those done all right here is at basket station now to move on to town hall and get the door shut in my face all right and here we are at town hall got one there and then maybe one, yeah, one more at spawn. All right, here we are uh, at spawn. And so what I've done is I've put some hoppers down to catch anything that falls through the end portal. And it looks like somebody's been chucking some ender pearls through, which is good. So that's a good test. So this is where our ender pearl collection is going to go. And that's eventually going to feed into our sorting system. In case you didn't, uh, well, I hadn't told you yet. But yeah, that's going to be the plan. But what we need to do now is put an advertisement here because this is where people are going to spawn in if they happen to lose their beds or if they're brand new on the server. So it's kind of a central area. So what we'll do is we'll put one of these here. Uh, let's see, where did my where did my axe go? Axe. There's the hitbox for it. Yeah, so we'll put one right like that, and we'll put our sign down here. Which farm shop now open, located on the road to Venice. All right, so there we go. And now, probably, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the actual shop and put up some of these banners. You know, before we get to the shop, maybe we should even put one here. Yep, at the witch farm. That leaves us four. I think that's fine. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the donkey over to the witch farm shop. We haven't done that donkey ride in quite a while. So let's get that going and we'll head over to the witch farm item shop. And here we go. We are back at the witch farm shop. If you have an idea for a name for this, that would be great. Feel free to share that in the comment section down below, but we probably should put maybe something right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. And we'll do another one to grasp our travelers coming from this direction. And let's see if we've gotten any payment oh my that's far better than i figured okay redstone sold Ooh, glowstone okay so we need to bring bring some glowstone over wow wow so i did not expect that i gotta say let's take a look at this again 
diamond blocks, name tags, diamonds, sea lanterns. This is, this is great. Guy could get used to this. So I'll bring back some glowstone. I don't really have tons of space in my inventory at the moment to take that. So I'm not going to take the payment at the moment. Uh, yeah, we'll have to bring back one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 stacks of glowstone, 4 stacks of redstone, everything else is fine. Okay, 17 glowstone, 4 redstone. Let's just make a note of that out here in the real world. Yep, so put it on a post-it note. Yeah, and I will bring those supplies off camera. But that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this little diversion to do something that we don't tend to do. I've never really messed with banners before. And I'm not saying this is going to be my banner. It just happens to be the one for the Witch Farm item shop. But, uh, but yeah, I still need to come up with my own regular banner. And, and there are plenty of ideas for you for other mobs in the game on Planet Minecraft. Feel free to go check those out. Uh, a lot of, a lot of great stuff over there and I will definitely put a link to the originator of this one uh, down in the description box below but hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you are up to date with everything going on on the channel as for me I am gonna head back to the witch farm we've got another beacon quadrant to fully clear out so I'm gonna get to doing that and then next time well, we'll probably be at Port Hypermine doing some landscaping. I've said that before. I said I wanted to close out that project. We do want to close out that project, get that base fully tightened down, get the landscaping in. But uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and do that next time. So join me for that, and I look forward to seeing what we manage to put together. I don't have any idea of what is actually gonna go there. So we'll see what comes out. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.